Today I will be showing the kickoff template and then we will be discussing the item which are listed there and then from uh, next session let's sit from tomorrow we will start configuration configuring the thing into the system when we uh, move uh, move forward with our session we will discuss uh, we will configure these things okay so I'm leaving the leading uh, practices uh, part, which is common for all the modules. So we talk about these things when we are talking about all the uh, any module implementation pitfall. What could what could be what could be the areas where you know uh, the implementation might fail, and then workshop approach. What approach we take? So I'm leaving leaving. Uh, I'm leaving these things uh, because these things are common across all the module. Uh, similarly, these things like iteration one and iteration two and iteration three, what we target in terms of completion, and then all compensation program and all those things. Since some demonstration we have covered, what is variable pay? We know that product functionality. That is what we need to understand now. Okay, so I will start from this. So variable pay, we understand we integrate the data from performance module for bonus planning calculation. Then uh, facilitates the administrator's complex variable pay program. It is talking about where we saw that one variable pay plan can have multiple bonus plan, right? For different individual, the calculation will work as per the bonus plan, which is applicable for them. The different and the uh, difficult uh, or the complex calculation is happening within one template. We can categorize those things. Multiple rows of history point of time in program. What it is talking about when we saw the history file, then for one, one employee, more than one record can exist. For example, let's say your transfer happened. Okay, you are in India. Suppose now you are in USA. All right. In both the case, your salary will vary. In that case, you should have two assignments within one financial year. So within one plan, we can have two record for one employee. All right. But when the calculation will happen in the UI, when you see it, you will only see you will only see one data point. And multiple bonus plan. This is the thing which we talked about already. Potential complex payout curves, rules, gates and guarantees. It is talking about like when we are, we are paying the uh, bonus do we have any uh, 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 what you call capping and uh, do we have uh, any what method we are using like interpolation step or the direct amount and all those things and then the calculation of the target amount how, how it happens does it uh, force uh, to 100 or does it like uh, uh, it can be like more than 100 percent all those things okay so when you discuss with the customer, you might uh, uh, not talk these things in this slide. Instead, you can present like as we discussed the day before yesterday on the system. You just present, you just come into this topic, then you present it into the system. So things will be more meaningful for them because they will be visually able to relate the things. All right. Then yeah. forecast and proration that we talked about already what i mean to say and of course we will configure uh, we will do the configuration what i talked about okay uh, is uh, that uh, before even come uh, in launching the worksheet you can see based on division department as we saw already on the ui that um, how your payout will be done for that financial year for bonus planning then complex calculation and options integration individual performance now you know what when we have the uh, pmgm plan available and there could be a customer where the payout depends on the goal individual go goal of the pmgm suppose you have three pmgm goal okay performance plan i'm not talking about business goal just uh, you have three goal and the weightage of one goal is 25, the weightage of another goal is 25, the weightage of third goal is 50. If you say your assignment is 
your assignment depends on the weightage of the goal then what will happen suppose you have 1000 as total target then it will get wiper gated into like 30, 25 25 and 50 into these three goals and whatever you are achieving against those goals in your performance management system let's say against one goal you have been rated three against one goal you have been rated four against one goal you have rated five accordingly as per the performance of the goal you will be your payout will be done. That is again one of the scenario which is possible into the system. Okay. Okay. Eligibility. Uh, it works as it works in compensation. Calculation of result of payout. We have seen it into the system. We will configure it accordingly. Okay. Now, this is important. What is important? There are. And this is certification question at the same time. Okay. There are many types of variable payout equation. This is we are variable payout equation. There are the standard equation in our product with the uh, calculation engine. We can accommodate some other equation as well. What it is talking about, let's say there is one customer for whom only business goals are applicable. Then base is equal to target by the way. Okay. Then we can use business this one only. All right. And then there are customer for whom business and individual is applicable, then we will use this one. If there are customer for whom business and team is applicable, then we will use this one. Okay. Then we see there are multiplicate uh, multiplication sign, there is an addition sign. So this is called your payout method in technical terms. The multiplicative is like additive method. And the plus is sorry, multiplication is like the plus one is additive method, and this is the multiplicative method. But we do not talk, talk about like these te technical terms with the customer. We just understand their requirement and accordingly we propose the solution. So this was for your information. So when we are configuring the system in the bonus plan, when I'm talking about the Excel file, let me open that one, please. This one here we talked about three type of payment individual team and business okay for that reason what we will choose let's see if it if it edit uh, we were doing additive so we will choose the fifth one all okay. right hmm. so usually the other one will be for the percentage is it the other one is for percentage calculations which one the multiplication no, no, what happens? Uh, the it depends on calculation. So, here what is happening? Let's say your basis is 1000 and your result is uh, 1000 of all. Okay. So, what it does, it pays you uh, accordingly. And when we use the multiplicate, here the addition is happening. In other case, it will get multiplied, it will not get added. Okay. So, do one thing. We will talk about additive and don't change anything. Okay. Just change the, okay. I will do it. We will do this one. Okay. And we will do not do any changes. We will just change the calculation method from additive to multiplicative. Then see how the program is behaving. Then you will get the clarity. You don't need to do anything. You need to do it. And then the fun fundamental will get, uh, will be very clear. I mean to say. Sure. Okay. You can make a note of this particular point that this is one of the things that we need to do. Yeah, so these are the same thing which we just talked about. Okay. Compensation design. Now. Uh, what happens? in any uh, organization where we are running the plan annually this is very identical and a standard a standard process that organization follows we configure the bonus plan in the start of the financial year okay admin calculate bonus using forecast financial data so they forecast like you might have seen uh, if in the organization like i was working with wipro they used to forecast thing and every every employee used to receive like this is what we are targeting to achieve in next quarter because in quarter 
the bonus used to be happen sorry in wipro the bonus used to be paid out quarterly okay, okay. earlier when i was working with wipro now what i'm saying that once that forecast has been done of course there will be someone who will be validating and auditing the data then for forecast bonus communicated to the employees as i mentioned already here then what happens in q2 like that i talked about the quarterly plan here they are talking about annual annual plan right financial models and update uh, updated like what happens they come to know about the actual okay final financial result this was forecast now they have the actual result that they will upload into the system and now we can see okay what was the forecasted one and what are the actual one and accordingly the payment will be done to the employee is it clear yeah. okay now some question i have for the employer when do you conduct the planning go live and when what are the uh, what is your financial year for india which is which is generally like uh, april to march for uh, europe uk it is like december then to december then do we do forecasting do we communicate the result all these uh, questions comes into the picture and uh, how frequently like quarterly six month or yearly the program uh, uh, works uh, so in real time if you exclude the example of bipro then to be very frank every con uh, almost every organization does this planning annually no one does it even half yearly everyone does it annually so we will also create an annual plan okay, okay. is there a need of multiple currencies of course yes nowadays every organization wants to have one plan and then they want to use it for all the countries right okay. we discuss the eligibility who are eligible uh executive composition planning who will have the executive review access you have discussed executive review within within compensation Have you discussed executive review within compensation session? Uh, yeah, we discussed. Okay. How many of these uh, people receive commission or are in sales? Okay. Uh, this is just a question related to goal. What kind of plan is this? You can ignore this one. Then this is the structure we saw yesterday on the plan, right? These are the standard slides which I down downloaded from uh, Partner Age and I'm presenting it so that we are on the same page okay now okay. a single variable pay ten template can contain multiple bonus plan each bonus plan can contain multiple business goal and their weightage each individual business goal contains detail of the payout are we aligned with this yeah right this is the same thing we discussed here yeah this multiple we can yes then what is variable pay template uh, it's like the composition template what are bonus plan section weight uh, like we define if you remember what is the weightage of the bonus plan uh, like a section weight whether that bonus has the individual team or business payout or combination of any this is what we define in the bonus plan label it's like one variable pay template multiple bonus then business goal business goal like what is the business goal where is it this one and what is the performance or the result of that business and what method are we using interpolation direct or step that's what i'm talking about here okay okay if you see the example like variable pay plan name bonus plan section weightage business goal three is performance and is payout okay and then it is the component of the uh, uh, what do you call uh, your uh, business goal section and this is very important by the way okay there are three things one history file second your uh, bonus plan third your uh, 
बिजनेस गोल इंटर रिलेटेड ओके यू असाइन यूर बोनस प्लान विथ यूर हिस्ट्री फाइल यू असाइन यूर बिजनेस गोल विथ यूर हिस्ट्री फाइल so the look of value look of feel this is my business goal look of feel is location so whosoever so ever employ falls in this location for that employ this business goal will be applicable and it will look for this value and for that minimum target is this maximum is this and actual is this this is your default what is default 5 Eight zero 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 zero. The result is five nine zero zero zero, which is above hundred percent. Now, what method you are following, whether is step or the interpolation? Accordingly, the payout percentage will get calculated. Are we on the same page? Yeah. Good. These are some uh, questions to ask to the customer. How many types of plan? What business goals do you have? what dates are there how do you roll up the budget and all those things what are the budget rules and uh, this is more towards the employee central we do not you know to be very frank if i do the variable pay workshop i don't even ask all the question which are listed there i ask the relevant question which could be useful to configure their plan and once we do our iteration one where customer comes to know about their you know a uh, uh, system then i ask detailed question if any yeah. all right so component plan design variable pay some employee might eligible for more than exactly it is possible that there is one employee who is eligible for more than one plan let's say bonus plan managing director in manage, manager incentive plan that employee was a manager then it be in between the pro promotion happened and the employee became director so system will auto calculate from the job information and give you the information of the proration for this number of this percentage of the time of the financial year the employee was in this bonus plan and for the rest employees in director director incentive plan okay so this will work only if they are doing based on the job grade right if not it shouldn't prorate it could be anything like on what basis you want to prorate your uh, okay what okay you need to ask the question what type of change causes change in the target percentage of the bonus okay then you need to configure the system accordingly right let's say it could be a transfer it could be promotion it could be change in the designation or something like that then we have seen this information already like some employee may be eligible for more than one bonus plan then bonus plan will be listed here the same example of the previous one manager incentive plan director incentive plan if you click on manager incentive plan then you will see the assignment detail of that here if you see director incentive plan then you will see that uh, in the payout detail of the same like what is the goal what is the weight in case of manager the ebitda is 25% in case of director ebitda is 50% and accordingly the rest of the calculation will also change all right okay hmm